Hello there. This is Dave Motorhead out in the Motorhead garage, and it's the middle of summer. I think it's September 2nd or something like that. And it's hot. It's like 115 degrees outside. This is my COVID. I haven't got a haircut since March or February or something like that. Anyway, uh, I was scrapping some old parts and come across one, and I'm taking the choke thermostat out and I thought that I'd make a video of uh, how you get those little rivets out and go through uh, some of the differences in the automatic choke systems from the early model and the late model and uh, anyway let's put the hat cam on and we'll get right to it okay what I've got here hopefully we can see this is we've got a uh, 1965 I believe it is 140 head and uh, it's a kind of a beat up head here and I don't even think Tom Knoblosh or whatever, however you pronounce his name, would want it. Because if you look at it, this thing is just beat. I mean, something, something let loose in this engine and just trashed this thing. All the chambers. I mean, this one looks like it has a hole going all the way through it almost. Anyway, so I come upon this thing and I wanted to take the choke out. If you look right here, here's the choke. And uh, there's a little rivet here. And this, this hole is where the uh, lower shrouds bolt on. And uh, this rivet retains the choke coil in there uh, when you take the, bolt, the bolts out to like remove the uh, lower tin. What I find interesting about this one is, is this is a 140 head, but it looks to have a early model choke in it. Uh, choke coil right there. And uh, the early model rod. Now if you notice here, this thing barely sticks out of the head which is kind of odd because most of the early model ones that I find the super early ones they sit down inside like that so this one's sticking a little bit more which maybe means that the choke coil is bad and uh, anyway we're going to take that out and uh, what you want to do with these things is uh, to get this little rivet out sometimes you could just pull on this and wiggle it and it'll start backing out but most times you have to grab the trusty body dinging hammer and you have to get down in here I hope you can see that and just get behind it a little bit and wedge it out get a little bit of get that screwdriver down there and start wiggling there we go and just get yourself a little bit of space here and that they start popping out and then what I want to do of course my light right over the bench went out right when I started doing this and then you want to take yourself the little baby uh, vice grips and you want to try to pinch onto that thing just get it to where you can just pinch onto the head of that rivet and then you want to twist counterclockwise and pull and most times they just come right out but this one doesn't want to let me see if I can wiggle that out a little bit more you see we got some space there Maybe this will can wiggle it out a little bit more like this. Most times those things just come right out with these vice grips. This one's kind of wedged in there. Maybe I got to tighten up my vice grips a little tighter. You just want to get on the head of that thing. You don't want to ruin this. You want to save it. Then of course it doesn't want to work. This thing's wedged in there pretty good. But that's how I do it. Let me see if I can get a real good grip on this thing. There we go. That one just didn't want to come out. Well, maybe I'll wiggle a little, little bit more. Most times I just come right out doing it that way. Maybe I need to get me a better set of vice grips. Maybe the bigger vice grips will work. Huh. Of course, it doesn't want to come out for me because I'm making a video. Maybe I'll just pry it out. Most times that works, but maybe we'll just do this and loosen it up and pry it out this way. Oh, it looks like it's loose, actually. There we go. Oh, almost fell over. Now, here's that little dude. If you look at it, it's... Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not because my gloves are on, but it's kind of serrated. It's got little serrations in it that uh, 
you know it kind of screws in like that and screws back out hopefully I can get that on the camera anyway what I find funny about this one is this is a early model choke setup now let's throw this little head off the bench I'm just gonna throw this away unless Tom wants it but I don't think he's gonna want that <laughs> anyways this is the early model choke setup which is kind of funny and uh, if you look here this is a late model choke and you see that the difference in the offset there now they offset those things because uh, I believe that this little nub would barely stick out of the top of the head and when you went to screw in this thing it would push down in there and it was hard to screw in you couldn't really grab a hold of this thing so later on they uh, upgraded it to this newer one if you look at this you can see they're about an inch difference in length and this is an NOS one right here and so when they uh, they made this longer choke rod here they offset the coil a little bit and if you uh, look at these things and uh, put them side by side we'll see if we can do this here you put these side by side and then to offset that they they created a different choke upper choke rod now if you look the uh, early model one is about an inch longer and the late model one is about an inch shorter that is to make up for the difference in these choke rods here so if you put them in the end like this early early and early and late 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 you see that they come out they come out about if you line these up this one's not line those up anyway they come out about the uh, the same height the overall height is about the same there I'm trying to line that up but everything's moving so you see this is a longer early model rod this is the short rod that came on like 62's and I think half of the 63's before they changed it to this late style and the reason they changed it to this late style like this is so this upper part will stick out of the head more as you saw when I first started this thing barely stuck out of the head which most of them are down inside there and then since this was longer they had to make this shorter so uh, you know that's the, the difference really in the, in the early model and the late model chokes there and if, if you notice let me get that head back up here oh. you notice here that when we stick this dude up in there well I'm gonna have to rip off my my NOS paper when you stick this dude up in there that no, it's not going through let me oh sacrilegious I just ripped off my NOS paper oh no anyway now let's stick this through there we stick this up in there like that and put it in place now you notice what is going on here Oh, I got that on backwards. See, you and I make mistakes. Yeah, it goes like that. Now the holes are lined up. Now you notice that this part sticks, sticks out. Like that. And so now when you get ready to screw the, the upper choke rod in, if you have a problem or you need to clean it out or whatever, it goes in there easier. And you can also, you can grab it like this to do it. To where... When you uh, have the the other choke rod, the smaller one set up in there, oh, that's backwards too. Like this, it's barely sticking out there, and you can't grab it. And I don't know why this one's sticking out like that. Most of them I see are down in there like that. They're below flush, and you can't even see it. And then try to clean it out or whatever. If it gets full of dirt, which they always do, you can't get to it. So anyways, that is the difference between late model and early model choke stuff. Uh, you know, I've got these all in NOS, but this, this center rod, the shorter one like that, is kind of hard to find anymore because uh, most people have went to the late model choke setup, and so that, that's kind of how that works. Anyway, that's the differences between the early and late model choke setups, and this is a boat ahead. It's uh, really getting hot out here. It's like 112 or something outside and probably 100 degrees in here because I don't have air conditioning. But uh, 
Anyway, that's the difference between the early model and the late model chokes. Uh, I think that Clark, Clark's only sells the late model ones and most people use the late model setup because GM figured out it was a lot better and that's why they changed it in I think mid 63 and so if you're going to do it use the late model stuff. Dave Motorhead, thanks for watching.